what I tend to do is like what this room is, a multicultural center, you know. I'm eventually going to tell a Native American story, but I'm going to tell it while playing an African drum, you know. Uh, playing a rhythm from, the drum is from West Africa, the skin is from Vashon Island, about three hours north of here. Uh, the rhythm is from the east side of Mount Kenya. The speaking style is a uh, derivative of New York City, and the interpretation will be Celtic. <laughs> um, you know, it's kind of uh, eclectic and, um, um, and multicultural at once. And what's that about? I mean, how does that relate to things? Well, you could say at the surface we're different. We look different, and we're supposed to. I mean, you're supposed to be able to pick yourself out amongst the group. That's the main reason for that, you know. You know I mean, so you know what, you, what to worry about. Um, you don't want to wind up with someone else's concerns. But, <laughs> but um, deep down, one of the connections to the moon is what's called the bones. Uh, things that are white are all connected. Um, bones... Um, inside a person are like shells in the ocean and they're like stones in the earth, um, right? Everybody understands that a human being has all five qualities that you can find any place in the world. I'll come back to that later. The so-called five elements uh, are, are what we're made of. And a key element of that is the skeletal structure, which is white like shells. Shells are the hard exterior memory protection for the soft animals that live in them. And we are the opposite. We have our softness on the outside and our hard shell memories on the inside. You get what I'm saying? And so if we want the protection of the deep memories that are the natural shared inheritance of all human beings, we have to go deep inside and kind of knock on our own bones. When you get inside to the bones, everybody's pretty much the same. You know, you start peeling stuff off people, get down to the bones, there's not a huge difference. You get what I'm saying? Um, well, by the time you get there, you can't figure out, you can't remember what you were working on. But anyway, in the bones are the memories of the human inheritance, um, and they are shared. There was mention of ceremonies. Believe it or not, this is a ceremony. I know it is a ritual because the drum was played. There was an uh, Aboriginal elder in um, Australia who used to give lectures, and he'd say, I know you people call these lectures but to us, these are messages from the other world passing through me to you. So that's another lunacy of the night. The idea of what I'm supposed to do, uh, both from the Celtic tradition and pretty much any other tradition that you want to look into, is ramble along enough until something from the other world catches on to the tail end of what I'm saying and begins to fall out of my mouth. That's really my job. And so, um, right? That kind of speaking, that kind of imagining, and the memories that are trying to be evoked through it are deeply shared by all, all of humanity. The layers of culture that sit on top, some of them are beautiful and some of them we know are brutal. And sometimes the only way to get past the numbing brutality that can fall onto people, a kind of dark lunacy, um, is to get down to the bone memories where everybody shares something. Um, for those that identify as white, um, I suggest you give that up as soon as possible. Uh, it's just a joke, you know. <laughs> White's like a, it's like a 200-year-old bad idea. Um, I'm, I'm really quite serious about that, and you can get rid of it soon. Um, the reason I say that is because white has set up a different kind of relationship amongst people. It causes people to identify simply by color. They have to name their color in order to be present. Previously, it wasn't that. It was where are you connected to the earth? Where is the natural energy of the earth coming into you and supporting your life and your imagination? That tells you how to identify. To the human psyche, to go back is to go in. To go down is to go back. It's the same thing to the psyche. So therefore, as you go in, you're going down and back into history. And if you go back far enough, you begin to find the kind of quiet memories of the people, the ancestors that we each came from. And everybody comes from some admixture of ancestors. Why is that important? Boy, 
Um, if I don't know who I am, if I don't know where I come from, then I'm really alone in the world. I imagine that the me starts right back here. You know that thing where someone says, I got your back? Well, what that comes from is the idea that in certain vulnerable moments, your back is exposed and someone else will cover it. The rest of the time, the ancestors have our back. Do you get this idea? And so one way to imagine not being alone in the world, other than having friends that will take your back, is to imagine that each of us is at the front of a very long line of ancestors, all of whom use this body at one time, and we are the most recent inhabitant of the body, the kind of, uh, we're, we're renting it now and paying the mortgage too. You get what I'm saying? But it has been used before. Does this make sense? When my father was in a um, coma and, and really was about to die and we had to unhook him from all the equipment, um, I looked at him laying there and, and, he, and I realized that he has the same body I have or I will have that body soon, especially since he was about to vacate it. And when I looked at that, I realized, wow, this is like not all that what would you call it? Individual a thing. He had it. I have it. You start going back, there's a whole bunch of people. At least that's how I think of it. And that is a way not to feel completely alone in the world. Also, if you need to do something dangerous, difficult, courageous, or threatening, immediately imagine that there are a whole bunch of ancestors. And don't worry about who they are, you know. I mean, a lot of odd folks back there, but, you know, in a clinch, you know, you go for them. But imagine that they're behind you, and I'm, I'm serious about that, because one of the worst experiences in the modern world is the repeated experience of isolation. You know, what was so highly touted in this culture, um, a rugged individualist, you know? Well, by now, we're all ragged individualists, you know? I mean, we're just battered and torn and isolated, and we acted out on the world stage, right? If we felt connected, I don't think we'd be doing quite so much damage internationally. All right. I'm just getting warmed up. <laughs> but since the ancestors were mentioned, how about if we sing to the ancestors? What do you think? So one of the ways that you honor ancestors, anybody who's dead, by the way, becomes an ancestor. There's really no other option. <laughs> <laughs> and the general rule is it improves them. I mean, this is hopeful if you think about your own family. So, um, so the, the oldest known ritual is to um, pour water or sometimes something more potent uh, in honor of the dead, which means in honor of the ancestors. And so since I already started spilling water, I'm going to follow now. And since it's, it's a liquid night anyway. So just um, in honor of the ancestors of all those in this room, of all those who have died recently, all those who are dying tonight, and all those who fear death, we pour a little bit of water. So this is a song that calls on the ancestors of the two great lines that people come in. That is to say, it calls on the grandmothers and it calls on the grandfathers. The term grandmother or grandfather does not simply refer to one's immediate predecessors in the biological sense. Grand was added to mother to suggest that after mothering children, there is an even grander stage. The same thing for the grandfathers. And by the way, their closest connection is with the grand children, and they skip those in between. So it's saying, Pura Samini, much praise to the grandfathers, to the male ancestors. Pura Mamini, Ma, Mom, Mother, Mara, much praise to the female ancestors standing at the very beginning of time, activating the womb that gives birth to all those who ever walk the earth. Much praise to the deep memory of that ancestor. 